sometimes called Tabby's star. It's one of a thousand other stars with planets that have been discovered by the Kepler Orbital Space Telescope. But its data is unlike that of any of those other stars. It looks like we discovered intelligent life in another solar system. Astronomer Nikolai Kardashev proposed three classes of alien. Human beings are type 1 because of our low level of energy consumption. Type 2 aliens turn sunlight into a source of power by surrounding their star with a vast spherical megastructure. Type 3 aliens have enough energy to make an entire galaxy disappear. Star KIC 8462852 is named after Tabitha Boyajian, who investigated its highly unusual light curve. She is also the manager of the Planet Hunter project. And Tabby's data says that this star is home to a Type II alien civilization. Specifically, aliens who attempted to surround their burning sun with a Dyson sphere. The star does not burn yellow, but instead a brilliant white. But it is not completely enclosed. The construction of the Dyson sphere is only partially completed. That leaves only two possibilities. The first is that the alien solar system is undergoing construction. The SETI Institute was determined to be the first to detect radio emissions from Tabby's star. No matter how advanced the civilization, radio or radio waves would have to be one of its byproducts. Radio waves propagate at the speed of light. So essentially, we could hear them working on their megastructure. But SETI found no radio signature, meaning the other possibility was the most likely. A dead civilization has been discovered in space. They have left behind only a Dyson sphere which is beginning to break into pieces, or one which was never completed in the first place. If they ever did try to communicate by radio, their transmitter ran out of power long before the first man uttered the first word. I have seen some of the experiments shown in this film actually carried out 